What if you could leap through time, witness history unfold, and alter the course of humanity? Welcome to the realm of time travel, an enigma that has long captivated the human imagination, stirring a fascination deep within us. Throughout history, the concept of voyaging through time has sparked curiosity and debate. Could we sidestep the relentless march of seconds, minutes and hours? Could we turn back the clock or fast forward to the future? Journey with us as we delve into the top 10 time travelers' experiences in history. Our first time traveler, John Titor, claimed to be from the year 2036. This enigmatic figure first appeared on internet forums in the year 2000, spinning tales of a future ravaged by war and disease. His mission, he said, was to retrieve an IBM 5100 computer, a device he claimed was necessary to debug various legacy computer programs in his time. Tito made several predictions about future events. He spoke of a devastating civil war in the United States, beginning in 2004, and a world war in 2015. However, these years came and went without the prophesied chaos. Skepticism grew around his claims, and many started to question the veracity of his story. Despite the doubts, the mystery surrounding John Tito continues to captivate. Who was he really? A cunning prankster? A delusional fantasist? Or perhaps a genuine time traveler? Although Tito's predictions didn't materialize, his story remains a fascinating time travel tale. Next, we explore the Philadelphia Experiment, a purported military experiment from 1943. A tale steeped in mystery and intrigue, the Philadelphia Experiment is said to revolve around the USS Eldridge, a naval destroyer escort. The story goes that the vessel was rendered invisible to the naked eye and teleported from Philadelphia to Norfolk, Virginia and back in the blink of an eye. This supposed feat was allegedly achieved by applying Einstein's unified field theory, a theory that was and still is largely theoretical. The experiment supposedly resulted in disastrous effects, with crew members said to have suffered from a range of ailments, from nausea to complete molecular disintegration. Skeptics point out the lack of concrete evidence and inconsistencies in the story, arguing that the Philadelphia experiment is more fiction than fact. Yet the allure of the tale remains, despite the lack of concrete evidence, the Philadelphia experiment continues to intrigue time travel enthusiasts. Our third experience brings us to a seemingly out of place figure in a 1941 photograph. The time traveling hipster, as he's been playfully dubbed, is a man who appears to be dressed far too modern for the time period. His attire, which includes a logo emblazoned tee, a sleek pair of sunglasses and a modern camera, spark debates upon its discovery. Historians and internet sleuths alike have speculated wildly about this anomalous figure. Was he a time traveler, caught in the act? Or perhaps a fashion pioneer, decades ahead of his time? Despite the fervor, the most plausible explanation is that he was simply a man of unique taste, his wardrobe an amalgamation of items available in the early 40s. The camera he's holding, though it looks surprisingly modern, can be traced back to designs of that era. While likely a case of fashion-forward thinking, the time-traveling hipster still stirs our imagination. Now let's delve into the alleged government experiments of the Montauk Project. Emerging from the shadows of conspiracy theories is the story of the Montauk Project, an alleged series of secret United States government projects conducted at Camp Hero or Montauk Air Force Station on Montauk, Long Island. The narrative spun around this project is filled with tales of psychological warfare, time travel, and even contact with extraterrestrial life. Perhaps the most disturbing aspect of these stories is the supposed experimentation on children with claims of mind control and psychological manipulation. These children, so the story goes, were allegedly used as test subjects in experiments that pushed the boundaries of ethical science. But how much of this is fact and how much is fiction? Skepticism surrounds these claims, with many dismissing them as mere urban myths, the stuff of science fiction rather than reality. Yet these tales persist, fueling our fascination with the unknown. The Montauk Project, whether fact or fiction, has undoubtedly left its mark on time travel lore. Our fifth experience takes us back to 12th century England with the green children of Woolpit. In this quaint little village in Suffolk, villagers stumbled upon two children with green-hued skin, speaking an unknown language. The children, a brother and sister, were discovered in a wolf pit, hence the name Woolpit. The green children were unlike anything the villagers had ever seen. Their clothes were made of unfamiliar materials, 
and they refused to eat anything but raw broad beans. They told a tale of coming from a land of permanent twilight, where all inhabitants shared their distinctive green colour. As time passed, they learned English, their skin gradually lost its green hue, and they adapted to the local diet. The boy sadly didn't survive long, but the girl grew up to integrate into society, even getting married. She maintained, though, that they had arrived through a cavern from their otherworldly home. This medieval mystery adds a historical twist to our time travel tales. Next, we investigate the Mobley Jordan incident, a purported slip through time at Versailles. In the early 20th century, two women, Charlotte Anne Mobley and Eleanor Jordan, ventured on an unexpected journey. During their visit to the Palace of Versailles in 1901, they alleged to have encountered the ghostly echoes of the 18th century. Walking through the Petit Trianon, a small chateau on the Versailles grounds, they claimed to have seen people dressed in late 18th century attire, experienced a sudden drop in temperature, and felt an oppressive mood in the air. They even reported seeing a woman they believed to be Marie Antoinette sketching on the grounds. Upon their return to the present, the ladies penned a book about their experience, titled An Adventure. Their tale stirred a debate that continues today. Were Mobley and Jordan victims of a time slip, or was it all a hallucination? Whether a slip through time or a trick of the mind, this incident continues to captivate. Our seventh experience takes us to Sweden with Håkan Nordqvist's unexpected journey. Now, this is a tale that teeters on the edge of reality and fantasy, stirring our imagination. Håkan Nordqvist, a humble man from Sweden, claimed to have stumbled upon a portal to the future while fixing his kitchen sink. Yes, you heard that right, a kitchen sink portal. In this seemingly far-fetched narrative, he proclaimed to have journeyed to the year 2062, but the plot thickens. In this future, he encountered none other than himself, aged 72 years old. The two Hawkins, young and old, even shared a matching tattoo as proof of their identity. However, the twist in the tale comes when it was revealed that Nordqvist's story was part of a viral marketing campaign. Despite this, it sparked our curiosity and left us wondering about the enthralling concept of meeting our future selves. Despite being a promotional stunt, Nordkvist's story reminds us of the allure of meeting our future selves. Next, we delve into the case of Andrew Carlson, the man who made a fortune overnight. This tale revolves around a peculiar character who, in a matter of just two weeks, transformed a mere $800 into a staggering $350 million in the stock market. His success was so extraordinary, it caught the attention of the Securities and Exchange Commission, who suspected insider trading. But Carlson had a different explanation. He claimed to be a time traveler from the year 2256, a world where time travel is a common practice. Carlson attributed his uncanny knack for predicting market shifts to his knowledge of the future. His every stock pick was accurate, a feat so unlikely it baffled the authorities. But his story took a strange twist when he disappeared, leaving no trace behind while out on bail. Whether a time traveller or an incredibly lucky guesser, Carlson's story stirs curiosity. Our penultimate experience brings us to a woman in a 1928 Charlie Chaplin film. Now this is a peculiar case that has stirred quite a buzz amongst time travel enthusiasts and film buffs alike. In the silent film, The Circus, an elderly woman appears to be in deep conversation with, well, seemingly herself. But it's not her monologue that's intriguing, it's the device she holds to her ear. In an era before the invention of mobile phones, this woman appears to be engaged in a chat on a device strikingly similar to a modern-day cellular device. This scene has led to wild speculations, with some suggesting she was a time traveller lost in the glorious twenties, while skeptics argue it could be an early hearing aid. The truth? We may never know. Yet the charm of this mystery remains, teasing our curiosity and imagination. While likely a simple misunderstanding, this incident adds a cinematic twist to our time travel tales. Finally, we explore the case of two British couples and a hotel that seemingly disappeared. Picture this, the year is 1979. Two couples, vacationing in France, stumble upon a quaint hotel. They stay the night, relishing the charm of the bygone era that the hotel exudes. The next day, they set off on their journey, promising to return. A few weeks later, they attempt to find the hotel again, but it's as if the establishment has vanished into thin air. 
the old world charm, the friendly staff, the rustic building, all gone without a trace. Confused and bewildered, they inquire with the locals, but no one seems to know of the hotel's existence. It's as if the couples had been transported back in time for one night, only to return to their present timeline the next day. A temporary slip in time, or a figment of their imagination. We may never know. This perplexing incident brings our journey through time to a close. From intriguing claims to historical mysteries, these time traveller experiences teach us several things. They invite us to question our understanding of time, presenting the possibility that it might be more fluid than we perceive. Each story, from the mysterious case of John Titor to the enigmatic time-travelling hipster, is a testament to our innate curiosity and our longing to explore beyond the present. Through tales like the Philadelphia Experiment and the Montauk Project, we're prompted to consider the ethical implications of manipulating time, while the Green Children of Woolpit and the Mobile Jordan incident remind us that time travel narratives have been woven into our culture for centuries. Stories such as Hawk and Nordqvist's encounter and Andrew Carlson, the stock market whiz, highlight the potential benefits and dangers of knowledge gained from supposed time travel. And the Charlie Chaplin time traveler, along with the vanishing hotel, well, they simply add to the enigma. Whether time travel is possible or simply a fascinating concept, these stories remind us of the enduring human desire to explore the unknown.